Hi everyone. Today is Thursday, July 27th here at home at forglobalpeace.com and I shot a YouTube video last night, late last night with my feet up. Um, you know, and I just want to do a second two-part video to this uh to what I spoke about last night. You know, Grandma Anna is not trying to be a negative Nelly about the hand washing and hygiene things, folks. Just letting you know that. But just letting you know that uh, people can really get sick. And I got sick. Um, and I really did something stupid that kind of uh, made me vulnerable to getting sick. So um, I'll just leave it at that. But I, I shared my personal hygiene stuff. And I'll tell you, I'll just say this. I shared my toothbrush with someone. And I'm going to leave it at that. Thinking, Not thinking that it would be a problem. But it turned into a big old problem for me because I ended up having to go to the doctors yesterday and I was prescribed antibiotics I mean I was down for the count the last few days here and I'm sitting here I'm actually I just got through playing a little bit of that video for care but I'm sitting because she didn't know I shot it just before she got home last night but I'm sitting here uh, in the living room with her now and we're talking and you know I just I told her I said I get tired because I'm not trying to be negative about my YouTube videos or anything, but it's just annoying how situations manifest. And then, you know, there are actually and factually consequences of negative behavior, and there's no way to not acknowledge that and to not be, I don't know, how can I say this? Actual and factual, and to not be actual and factual. So, but these are human characteristics, human behavior that we all kind of uh, participate in in the daily party of life. So the struggle is really real, but because the struggle is real doesn't mean that we can't take accountability of our personal hygiene factors is what I want to say. So I hope I said that in better tones and better words for um, this two-part video, but uh, beyond all of that, the other thing is I don't know why it is, but lately I'm running into people here, out whenever I go out in public here in Elyria, in Lorain, Ohio, um, I'm running into people that are sharing some horrific stories. And not only that, I, um, I ran into a gentleman who presented himself, <clears throat> excuse me, there goes my throat, um, I ran into a gentleman at the post office who presented himself to be a truther. And so I uploaded those truther videos to my Facebook page today, but I also did some research on YouTube on him and found out that he's a shill as well, uh, from what people are saying. So it's, and I mean, I got to tell you, when people have real showboaty personalities, that's, that's a clue right there. Um, and that's what I saw, and that's what I'm seeing in those videos, and that's why I said on my post today, Take what you like and leave the rest. Um, and more will be always be revealed. You know, that's an old AA saying. So that's what I try to uh, adhere to with my um, sharings of YouTube videos and whatnot here. And that's all I wanted to say. My other half is sitting here trying to have some lunch and eat and stuff. And um, I don't know, hon. I want to put the video on you for just a minute. Is that okay? No, it's not okay, she said. It's okay. I'll just let it be at that. But I just want to ask you then, since you're sitting here, just yay or nay, do you think I tend to be negative in my videos? In general? Um, no. No, thank you, hon. That I needed to hear because I, I feel like I need a little... I'm reassured. Yeah, I do. It's just... It's really hard sometimes. And not only is it hard, I mean, it's hard, Carrie, because there's so much freaking corruption out here, too. I mean, you're not on social media with me because you choose not to be, and I respect that, and I try to accept that. But there's so much shit that I see, and I know that you see it, too, because you do wonderful, you do wonderful research work. Um... But what I want to say is, and there goes my damn nose and throat, <laughs> wash your damn hands, people, and brush your teeth. 
And if you don't have teeth, like some people, I don't care. Wash your mouth still, okay? Um, do all that hygiene stuff. It's there for a reason. Don't you think we need to practice good hygiene, Carrie? Yes. Um, because there's there's consequences when when we don't. And my, this obviously took me off guard, but uh, I got <clears throat> pretty sick this week, and I don't like whining about this shit because it's bullshit. But it's not bullshit because this shit can be shared because it's really real and it really happens, and it happened to us this week for sure. But um, I'm kind of giggling now. I'm going from bawling my eyes out to giggling um, and laughing at myself right now. What else do I want to say? I'm just showing my human side, my human nature, but it's really disgusting. Um, and the amount of people that I'm running into lately that are just wanting to do activist work with me alongside. I mean, that lady I met yesterday really impressed me and I'm going to keep her anonymous just for her own privacy but the level of deception and corruption and cover up and outright brutal I don't know brutal brutal bullyingness I guess I want to say um of people's positions and stuff is just ludicrous ludicrous keeps coming to my 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 eyes my mind's eye, um, and it's just crazy. It's crazy what our world's going through and manifesting into. Um, but I'm so grateful to be kind of, um, to be hooked up with my life partner here and to be partnered up with the spiritual calling. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't trade it for the world, and so I don't care if we would live in a tent, you know, hon? I mean, she's she's giggling right now, <laughs> or a yurt, <laughs> or a tiny home, shit, you know, which basically we have done that, you know, through these trials and tribulations, but, um, I don't know, for me, there's a lot of jubilation in being to thy own self, being so true, and so, on the other side of these tears, you know, the sun will come out again tomorrow, and I'll feel better tomorrow, and not be in such a pity party, but the other part of it is my other half is now starting to get sick too, and I don't like that because um, I just don't like it. You know, I don't like to see that manifesting in our home here because we we really strive to take really good care of ourselves and try to make our home a real genuine home, and uh, I don't know. I mean, we don't pride ourselves on that. We just humbly strive to live the best life we can live. That's what I want to say, right, hon? Yeah. And you think we're doing it so far? Yeah. She's nodding her head, yes. And on that note, it's 811 on my cell phone here. It's too long of a damn video. I'm humbly Anna Anders, just one of the many founders of ForGlobalPeace.com. And, yeah, people, share the mojo and share share the uh, the teachings, you know, and share the preachings, you know. And I'm not talking about... Uh, corrupt preachers from the pulpits. I'm talking about share the preachings of the teachings of life's lessons learned in the school of life. I'm shutting off the video way too damn long. Peace on the planet. Truth on the planet. And keep exposing the naughty Illuminati ones. The super 1% parasitical elite purple. Let me see if I can get my finger there. Purple mafia ones. Okay. Purple mafia runs it all. Gotta go. Bye.